Welcome back, Don Garbutt here. This tutorial is about the LFO tool by Expert Records. LFO Tool by Steve Duda and Expert Records is a very interesting plugin. It's quite inexpensive and it has a variety of uses. Initially, you could consider it a signal processing plugin. Inserting it on your channel strip enables you to use its filter and volume and pan controls. The filters sound great and the control is really amazing. Initially, what I've got is a bass track with this LFO tool loaded as an insert. With this example, you can hear the same effect that you'd get with a compressor and a sidechain setup, where by the sidechain method, you'd get the bass drum to control compression on your bass instrument. Here, by just loading the LFO tool on the bass track, the synchronized LFO pattern enables you to get volume pumping, which achieves the same effect. Here's the bass track without any LFO tool. Now I'm going to add the LFO tool. Now you hear that kind of popping sound as the LFO shape repeats itself. You can smooth that out with the smoothing control down here. There are other videos that are very good descriptions of the LFO tool, so I'm not going to go into all the particulars of the LFO tool here, but I'm just going to show you some of the ways that I like to use it. LFO tool comes loaded with presets. This folder here provides some examples of the sidechain pumping effect that you heard. Each preset loads up 12 different patterns. All these patterns are editable, curvature, adding points. You can copy a pattern and save it into another location. You can save your patterns to disk, and you can call up patterns that have been provided by LFO Tools Library. The value down here determines the musical length depicted by the screen. This value up here determines the multiplication of the speed of that length. You'll most likely want the LFO to be running in sync with your host program. That can be turned off by this value right here, where you can adjust the speed as you like. You can create as many points as you like in the shape. Holding the Shift key down allows you to draw a default set of points based on this value here. Then you can adjust the point values and curvatures individually. Now I'd like to show you how I'm using the LFO tool in this piece that you heard at the beginning. First, let's listen to the drum track and the bass track with no LFO tool. Now I'm going to add the first LFO tool that I have inserted on this bass track. Now I'm going to add yet more volume processing with a second LFO tool, and I'm going to add a filter effect which is controlled by this shape. So you can clearly hear the excellent effect of the LFO tool's filter. Now I'm going to add a pad sound with the LFO tool turned off. Now let's add the LFO tool. Here's where you choose which of your 12 patterns you'd like to have controlling the targets. 
You can select that by hand, but you can also make the selection by MIDI. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how to use these patterns as MIDI controller data to control other devices such as the Sugar Bites Tornado. Thanks for watching. See you soon.